Hey everybody, today Rado runs through Damask, but before we begin, please turn on your subtitles to the Klingon channel so that when I have an oops moment, you'll know about it. And of course, I'm not Rado, I'm Kimberly, and I'm excited to bring you Damask. This is a really rich, beautiful world of weaving and silk threads. So players are playing weavers and they are trying to create the most beautiful damasks so that they can put on display and gain favor from the weavers guild. The player who collects the most money by the end of the game wins. So here's what every player starts with. They start with a damask that during setup they draft from this damask display. I've already done that for my player, which I'm over here, and I've got Lewis who's playing over here with me in a two-player game. Uh, some other things to note is that every player has an overstock card, and this card is, is there to help you keep those extra threads that you may not be able to apply to a current damask that you're working on, which is this area right here. Every player can have up to three that they're working on at once. There's also some secret space back here, which is why every player has this guard. Not only does it keep all of your favors and your money hidden from other players, it allows you to display your damasks as you finish them and really make it a lot easier for you to score them. Up here is the favor area. This is the Weaver's Guild, and there are certain patterns and colors that are in favor for every season. We are playing the three season game, which is a full game of Damask with two players. There's a shortened version that I'll tell you about at the end of this tutorial. Uh, again, up here are the Damasks that you can select from. And right here in the center is the Weaver's Wheel. And this has all the different silk threads on this movable um, uh, kind of, it's, it's like a little uh, Susan in the middle, lazy Susan, it turns and it pushes those cubes and it keeps track of where the, the, the thing is pointing at. So right here on either side, you're going to have triggers that allow you to refill the silk, but also tax season is going to come around and players are going to have to pay for excess threads. You also get a player aid card. And I'm going to put it up here so you can see it because we're just going to jump right into the very first player's turn. So on your turn, you must either take a damask pattern. Uh, if you have two or fewer, you can take one. But if you have three, you're not allowed to take one, period, which means you're not allowed to replace. Or you can take uh, silks from the wheel. So I'm going to look at what I'm doing here and figure out which one of those two things do I want to do. Now, in the very beginning of the game, it's a good thing to get damasks. It's a good thing to have options, but you also need to pay attention to the color and the pattern. So in the very first season, this particular pattern is in favor, which means that if your damask that you mount because you've completed it, you've sewn every last thread into it, you'll receive a favor token, which is a bonus token to help you do cooler things in the future. So right now, I actually have one that matches. That's why I took this card in the pre-game phase. There's also a color. Now, I don't have dark blue on my pattern, but guess who does? That's what Lewis was going for. When he drafted his, he said, I see that dark blue opportunity, and I saw the pattern opportunity. So um, while we are in season one, uh, which means that this wheel goes all the way around, and when it comes back full, we have our scoring phase for season one, but not until then. So it depends on how many threads we take and how fast. So this is what's in favor. I have a card that's in favor right now, but when I look at this damask area, which I think I'm gonna take a damask for my first turn, um, because if I can't place my threads, I put it in my overstock. And when it goes to my overstock, my opponents can steal them when it's their turn. So if I don't place them into open damasks that I have working on, I might possibly lose them. Um, more on that in just a little bit when Lewis probably tries to steal from me at some point. So I'm gonna look out here and I'm gonna say, well, this is in season because of the pattern and this dark blue and that dark blue are in season right now as well. And what you want is to make your damasks kind of overlap to some degree because when you score, it says down here, when mounting a damask, you get $1 for each match, color, or pattern. 
So you automatically just get one, which is great. The very first one you, you mount, you get $1 for. But you want to start matching colors and patterns with the most recently mounted. So you're going to go in sequential order. So I want something here that either has black, yellow, or this kind of hourglass shape. And this has two, right? This one has two as well. So this has the black and the yellow, and this has the uh, pattern, and it's also got the color. So I'm thinking that if I want to go here, it's all just yellows and blacks. So now I'm looking at the wheel. What colors are actually available for the foreseeable future? And I see a couple blacks and yellows, and Lewis isn't necessarily going for those. But I also see a couple reds out there, and he doesn't have red. So I see an opportunity to take this one. Now, all you do is you take it and you place it in your area, and you're going to place it where you can actually see, aha, look, I've got those three uh, red cubes or red silk, and then two yellow silk are what I need to complete this. And so I'll place it right there in front of me. And now I can place cubes out on it. And all I do is reach in this bag and I just pull out a, a new card. Now it's in a bag because you don't want to see the patterns and you don't want to see um, the colors, especially on the top. This is all secret. So you have to reach in here and you can just pull out any one that you want. I like to kind of go in the middle and you just pull one out and you set it right there and you replace it. And that is my turn. So let me take you back to that player aid. I did the um, take a damask uh, pattern, and then I can do an optional turn. I can mount a damask, or I can take another player's um, silk cubes from one color area, which means I could take more than one if there are more than one of that color. Now, Lewis hasn't gone yet, he doesn't have any, so I can't steal from him, and I can't complete uh, a damask because I have not put any of my cubes out there yet. I haven't, I haven't gathered any silk from the wheel to then add here. So my optional turns in the very beginning of the game are pretty limited, um, not, not non-existent just yet. But that is my turn. I simply took one of the damasks in preparation to um, add silk cubes to it, which is, I think, a really great engine starter. And you're going to notice that there's a lot of timing needed to plan everything out um, just right. Well, that was it. That was my turn. I'm going to turn it over to Lewis, and he's going to look at his and say, I've got pink and dark blue. Again, you know, I'm not going for any of those colored cubes, but he might actually have, hmm, let's see here. He might try something uh, with the wheel because he actually sees dark blue and pink. That matches his. Um, and it's in fashion. It's in season, you know, fashion later in the season. He sees a dark blue here and a dark blue here. And he sees some matching shapes. He's not racing to get the damask. There's nothing out there that he thinks, well, if I come and take one for my third, that he's not going to have any opportunities. I think he sees quite a lot of opportunities out there. So I think what he's going to do for his first turn is take from the wheel because he sees a whole lot of pinks and a couple dark blues. So what he's going to do is go for probably the pinks first. So here's what happens when you take from the wheel. You simply start anywhere you'd like. You could pick one cube and you go in order going left or right from wherever you start. And the very first time you take a cube, of a color you've already selected, you stop. And you must continue taking cubes until you've taken a second of the same color. So let's see here. He could simply start here at this pink and say, I'll take this pink, this black, this pink. He's done because he came across his second pink already. Um, it could have been simply the black, red, pink, black. And once he hits the black, he stops. Um, let's see here. Oh, he can grab a dark blue Ooh, and a yellow and a black. Oh, oh no, but the pink gets in the way. Ooh. I was thinking you could get one of these dark blues and get two pinks because he really wants to get three pinks and two dark blues. Um, so perhaps what he'll do is, you know what? That's not the worst thing. He can get a red and a black. I wonder if he wants red and black out there. Probably not. Okay, so here's what he's going to do. I think he's looking to the future at some other um, cards that are out there. 
and he's also wanting to just get a bunch of the color that he needs. So he's actually going to start with this uh, pink, no. Okay, he's gonna start with the light blue, and then he's gonna go pink, red, and then he's gonna hit that pink again. Now he's essentially saving up cubes for other opportunities, is he? Wait a minute, can he get a dark blue? He still can't get a dark blue and a pink at the same time and get two pinks. And again, there's more pinks than there are dark blues. So I think he's just gonna take this and he's gonna take those four and he's gonna place them in his damask. So he goes pink and he goes pink. He can't place the red and he can't place the light blue. So he simply puts them in his overstock. Uh, so what that was, was four movement. So we take this spinner wheel and we go one, two, three, four. And now we are four steps along the way to refilling. And then if we move all the way back here to meet this mark, we are going to have tax season and you have to pay excess uh, cubes in your overstock. You have to pay for them. Which, you know, he's got some in there, but he probably is going to take some cards and then fill them in. So he's got a nice progress on his card, some opportunities for perhaps me to steal on the next turn, especially that red. That red looks really enticing. Um, but he also has, obviously, some light blue opportunities that he can go and draw damasks for. So he's going to have the same choice that I had, which was take another player's cubes. Well, I didn't take cubes on my turn, and I don't have any of my overstock. Or he can mount. He's not ready to mount yet because he needs to complete all of the silk threads. So back to me, it's my turn, and I'm seeing some opportunities to take cubes and to collect and to start building, and then I can probably nab that red from him, which again, looks really, really good. So I want a lot of yellow, red, and black. So let's see if I can get some cubes with those combinations. So I want red and yellow, or not red and yellow, <laughs> red and black, and that would give me, but then I'd have too many dark blues, and that's what he wants, which he could steal from me, but he's getting a good bang for his buck if he can take all the blues that I have. So let's see here, how can I grab two yellows, since that's really what I'm looking for here. Uh, yellow, shimana, 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 shimana. Yeah, let's do this, because I'll do yellow all the way around. So I go yellow, dark blue, red, light blue, black, and then yellow. Wow, that's six. That's almost the best you can get. It's almost one of each plus the second one, uh, which ends your turn. So I'm going to take these cubes and I'm going to put them into my damasks. Now my choice here is do I want to put two in my red right here uh, so that I can have my two yellow and close progress or tight progress on my um, uh, this one. You know what, I think I might because I want this shape and my red, oh, but I could save it. I could save it for next round. Oof. Okay, I'm gonna go over here because this counts for this. That one will finish. You know what, I'm gonna say right now it's a push, but this gives me flexibility. If I finish it this turn, I get the favor. If I finish it next turn, I get the favor. This one is restricted to this round. I put my black cube in there, I put my red cube, I put my uh, light blue and my dark blue. And now I've got some overstock that he is gonna wanna take because he likes dark blue. Okay, so I took from the wheel and I need to move it six spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, getting close to refilling um, the silk. So now we're gonna come back to the um, optional turn. I can mount my damask, which I'm not there yet, or I can take another player's cubes from their overstock all of one color. Well, I will. So I'm going to take this red and I say, thank you, Lewis. And he says, grumble, 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 <laughs> because that's what happens when you get stolen from. But in this game, when you get stolen from, you receive a favor token and the favor tokens allow you to complete your damasks easier and with a little bit more flexibility so it's not a bad thing to have a cube stolen from you particularly if you don't have any interest in it it also might be taxed at the end of the season and so it's kind of in your favor um, perhaps why they're called favor tokens. So Lewis is going to turn this over, and since he's not here, what we're going to do is just keep these face up, but they're going to be behind your shield, so people don't know what you have. Now, he is going to keep this. It means that he has a black 
cube that he can finish a damask with, he can mount as if there were a black cube on the card, much like I need a black cube. That would have been an amazing favor for me to get. He got it though. So in the future, if he gets, say this one, which has a nice matching pattern for him, um, that might incentivize him to draw this on his turn uh, because he can actually use it. You can also use favors for other things like not paying taxes at the season um, or refreshing the row of damasks. Let's say you're looking for something, you can pay a favor and it's just not your action on your turn, it's a bonus. So there's also some more flexibility with using those favor tokens. Okay, I'm pretty sure that was the end of my turn because I stole from him, he got a favor, and now it's back to Lewis. So he is looking at maybe taking cubes. He can get those dark blues, and he can also grab all of those. Oh, he's gonna do it. Oh, I just saw a way for him to finish. <laughs> okay, so let's do it. Let's let's check this out. I think what he's gonna do is say yellow, uh, pink, red, yellow, black, dark blue, dark blue, right? So again, I go until I get to one of those colors I've taken is repeated. This is gonna be a six move, which is going to refill our um, wheel, and it's really going to accelerate us past season one. But I do think this is a good move for Lewis. He goes those there, he finishes that, and he places all these extra cubes out there, which, you know, we'll see. I think he's gonna be able to find a way to use them, and I think I'm gonna find a way to steal them too, because uh, those are really, really great cubes. So again, your choice is, does he wanna steal, or does he want to mount a damask? He wants to mount. He really, really does, because this is going to give him a lot of cool stuff. So what you do is you take all the cubes that you have used, and you'll place them back in the bag. This is the cube bag, right? We have all these cubies in here. And then he will take his card, and he's going to stand it up in his tray, just like that. He's going to have it... Um, stand up. Now, what I'm going to do for um, my players, just to make it a little bit easier, I'll have one that stands up and I'll have one that lays flat because I want to make sure that we can actually see <laughs> what we're doing here. Because with these vertical uh, cards going up, they look really nice uh, when you're sitting at a table um, looking at it, and it also helps you see what your points and score is. Okay, so he mounts it and now we're going to score. So let's take a look at this player aid. You get a dollar for mounting, so I'm going to take a dollar, I'm going to place it right behind his board, and that's it. Your very first one you just get a buck for. Um, you haven't started your uh, combinations just yet, but we would then, for his second and third, look for those matching colors or patterns. Fantastic! Okay, so he mounted, and that was the uh, end of his optional turn, but notice, we didn't move the wheel just yet. We need to move it those six spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six. We crossed onto or past this, and that means we refill this. So we make sure we refill it before my turn. And you just grab a bunch of cubies and you just kinda throw them in. And they have a nice little well here. It's like a little indent, uh, so when the wheel turns, um, you, it just moves super smooth and all the cubies just fit right in there. It's, it's super, super nice. Um, this is a fun, I like this is, you know, I love reaching into bags. <laughs> so I have a good time refilling the wheel and spinning stuff. I just love this, uh, mechanism. It's just a really simple, um, nice, you know, visual tactile part of the game, uh, is having this wheel. So back to me, I'm looking at finishing with one yellow and one black, or I can take a third, I can take a third damask in preparation for not being taxed because I have a light blue and a dark blue. And I'm looking at that thinking I could take this and I know that that's something that is in favor now if I could put those out and finish them because look at all that light blue and dark blue. Maybe I could actually get it done before the season. But then again, these I really want to be done with the season, particularly this one. So really tough choices here about do I prevent the taxing, which costs money and money is how you win the game, 
Or am I going to just invest and finish the damasks that I've already started? So I think I might try to, I think I might just try to grab my yellow cubes and one black to see if I can finish. I really do feel like that would be, that would be good. Now, the thing to think about is I'm not allowed to mount a damask and steel uh, on the same turn, it's an ore. And so if I look over there and see, oh, he's got a yellow and he's got a black silk that I can use on mine, I can take it, but then I have to wait until the next round just to mount it. So keep in mind the timing of stealing, but also mounting, because you can mount, um, you can also pay a guild favor, just anyone, and you can mount an additional damask. But I don't have any right now. It's the beginning of the game. Uh, Lewis hasn't stolen from me just yet. So uh, I haven't really gathered any, and I haven't finished damask to get those favor tokens. So I think I might just take from the wheel. So let me see here. I need a yellow. I need more yellow than I need black, but I need one black. And I think I'm just going to get stuck. I think I'm just going to get... I got, yeah, I might not be able to get it. I could finish this one, but that's the one that I, I don't want to finish necessarily sooner than later, but he's going to have to take next turn. He's not going to want to grab more cubes. So I know I've got a little bit of time here. Okay, so let's do that one. I think I want to do that. So let's grab, let's do it this way. I'll take a red, a yellow, a dark blue, and a yellow. And you'll see that I'm trying to gain this one so I can finish it. And then perhaps next time I can grab some others. And that dark blue doesn't hurt me because it's the same color as a thread I already have. So I'm going to take these and I go red, yellow, yellow, place my excess here. And I'm also going to move this four spaces, one, two, three, four. And now I'm going to mount my damask. So what I'll do for this player is just simply take the card and I'll turn it over and just start splaying them this way so that we can kind of see what the pattern is and also what the um, colors are. Um, so right now what I've got is the yellow red with the hourglass symbol. So I'll take the cubes and I will put them back in the bag, shake them up. I get one coin for finishing my very first one, just like Lewis did. No extras, because I haven't partnered or paired anything with any matching colors or um, designs. And then I also received my very first favor because I matched the design for the season. It's still season one, and I have that shape, so I will take a favor. And what it tells me is this will act as one cube that matches for that particular design. And wow, I couldn't have asked for a better one because look at this. This will count as either color for this design. So I can probably finish this next round and get the same favor and start really building up all of my damasks, which I think is phenomenal. So I'm gonna keep this face up back here behind my area, just like I did um, before. And so what I did again on my turn was I was able to grab cubes um, and weave in my silk for my damask and then for my bonus um, action. Oh, that's my guild favors. Ha! So what I do here is I will, um, I did my um, mount instead of taking cubes from another player, which I might do next turn. We'll see because I can now do this with one fewer. I need only one yellow um, or one black. So that's my turn. It's down to Lewis, and it would be unwise so soon to tax season for him to just take a whole bunch more cubes when he really needs to get another damask out. So I think it's just wise for him to grab one that he can place at least two cubes down on. And I think he's going to draw this one because we were just talking about how this matches his... It matches the same uh, design. He also has both a black and a yellow. And when you take a look at the favors, he's going to have an opportunity in season two to complete it and earn a favor. Or he can do it in the third season and earn that uh, yellow favor as well. So I think he's just going to do this. He's going to flip it over and add it to his area. And we will replace this right away. Let's pop this one out here. Oh, we got a lot of light blue. And, oh, that's the symbol that is the, the in favor of this season, that design. 
Now, when you grab a new damask, you're able to add the silk cubes that you have in your overstock immediately. So he's gonna start just weaving away and he's gonna add this yellow and he's gonna add the black immediately. Now he did not, he's not able to grab anything from me. I don't think that he wants to just to give me a favor to kind of put it in his overstock. So I think that he's going to choose not to um, steal and he's also going to choose not to mount because he doesn't have uh, the opportunity to do that. Now it's to me. I can grab another damask and put it out here so that I really prevent my overstock from charging me taxes because I've got four dollars, you begin the game with three just so that you can be taxed and you can pay the price for, for hoarding silk cubes um, because that's unweaverly like. So I think I might actually choose to do that and the really cool thing, oh boy this is so exciting, uh, that just showed up is a light blue dark blue and it also matches my pattern which means I'm going to get this pattern bonus when I start um, mounting my damask. So I think I'm going to choose to take this and put it into my area and I go blue blue, light blue, and remember this doesn't have to go to the one I talked about. This can now be finished with just one cube as well. This is just stunning. I'm <laughs> so excited. So I'm going to replace this and guess what I'm going to do for my optional turn. You better believe it. I am going to steal from Lewis because if you look over in his overstock, he has that light blue. Now I know that it's probably going to hurt him um, when it comes time for taxes, but it's going to help me so much more. So I steal this blue and I add it straight to my beautiful damask. He is going to receive one of these. Wow, he just keeps getting uh, these, these um, black cubes, which he does have one that he could use it for right here. Um, but maybe he wants to grab another one. Uh, yeah, so just as a reminder, um, when you have guild favors, you can use uh, one, just discard it, doesn't matter what's on the other side, and you can mount a second damask at the same time. You can refresh a row of the, pa the damask patterns. If you don't like one row, you can just discard it and do that. You can use it as the image shown, which is what I'm planning to do with mine. You can pay two of them when tax season rolls around and you don't have to pay one color. And then at the end of the game, if you have any left over, it's three for one dollar and you trade those in, which can really be a big deal, uh, I've noticed. Uh, okay, so I drew from here. I also took one from him, which means I can't mount. Remember, it's an ore. I have this, but I already stole. I didn't mount. So I have to wait until next turn to use that to mount my damask. But I like it. I like what I've done. Um, Lewis has a red that he's looking at, a red cube. There's only one red. Oh, there's two reds. And it's red and pink and red and light blue, which, boy, is there a lot of pink and light blue out there. That could be really advantageous for the next round. Now, red is in season. I think he's gonna take another damask. I think he's gonna do it. He got a little low in season one. He didn't get enough damasks like he saw me. I was really chopped up and I just start loading in all my cubes. So I think he's gonna take another one and he can take this one, which matches that same symbol and shape that he's used to, that he, get, he gets points for. So he's gonna take this one. He's gonna add it. And he's going to pop that red cube right in there. He's going to look over and say, well, Kim doesn't have anything to steal uh, from her overstock. And he also can't mount. So nothing to do there. And now it's my turn. So let's see here. I want to probably draw cubes. Now I'm going to put this out here to kind of remind me what I'm, what I'm allowed to do. So, or what I'm looking for with my silk cubes because I don't want to draw too many and be charged overstock if Lewis ends up drawing cubes this next turn, which I think he will. He's cleared out his overstock and he's going to want to trigger the tax season. So I have to be really careful here and take just what I need. I don't know if that's possible. Oh, I don't know if it's possible. Black, yellow, and light blue. I think I'm going to have to, oh boy. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think 
I might have to actually strategize to not take something right now because he would force me to pay taxes. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to pay taxes. But then again, I also want to finish this to get my bonus. <gasps> Wait, this is two bonuses. No, I think I got to do it. Oh boy, this is so rough. Okay, how about this? Are you ready? I'm going to have to pay a tax, but I might be able to pay a favor, the two favors, to not pay for it. Okay, 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 here we go. Okay, ah, ah. I want this yellow, and I want the blue, and I want the blue. Do I want that? Yeah. So I go yellow, and I go blue, and I put the blue over there, and I move this one, two, three spaces. So we're still three spaces from tax season. Now it looks like I'm going to be needing it for this one for me to finish, but I want to finish this damask first. So I'm going to keep that back there and I'm going to say I'd like to complete my damask for my optional turn. So I'm taking all these cubes, I'm dumping all the cubes in there, yay. I will get one, one dollar for completing. I will also receive a dollar for any matching patterns or colors. So here's my, here's my um, display. And you'll see that I've got a matching pattern, but no matching colors. That's okay. I'll tell you why in just a little bit. So I get one coin for finishing and one for matching a pattern. That gives me two dollars. Yay! And then I take a look at the designs. Yes, I match the pattern for the season. I'm super in fashion. And yes, I match the blue. So I get two favor tokens. And those favor tokens are these two. I got a yellow cube and I also got this kind of shield uh, symbol. So I'm going to place these behind my board. I mean, that could have been really nice to have that yellow for here, but I'll just be able to use it for another uh, damask. Okay, so I moved the wheel. I did mount in my damask. If I'd like to mount another damask, I can do so right now. I think I will. Here's how it works. Um, I will mount one by paying a guild. So I'm going to pay this yellow. It's just a guild. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to throw it up here in our little guild use pile. And then I will pay this. So that's the missing shape that I need. So whenever you see it right here, that becomes my missing cube for this particular uh, pattern. So I'm going to toss this over here and I'm going to put these cubies back in the bag. Yes, yes. And then this comes down and I mount and no, I don't have uh, a matching color or a matching, um, well, I do have the pattern. Um, so I'm going to get one for mounting and then one for matching. Now, if you notice, I probably should have done my yellow before I did my blue. That would have been really strategic of me, knowing if I did them both in the same order. But I think what I did was I finished the one I needed, and then afterwards I got that information of getting more of those favors, and I went, ah, I can use my favors now to finish. So I don't think I would have made the same choice, but it would have given me more dollars. So I get one for finishing, and I get one for matching the pattern. So let's do the coins first. So I get two more dollars. And now I look at this and I get one because I was in favor. It's still season one. And I got a dark blue. Well now, these two symbols that I have, these two favors will really encourage me to seek out that pattern, which wow, it's right there. Dark blue and the uh, shield symbol. I might wanna take that as one of my damasks. Okay, so I did that, I did that, I did the second mount, which was really exciting. But now it's back to Lewis and I do have some overstock. I imagine he's gonna take. Let's see what he can actually take. Um, he has this, he can maybe finish his yellow. It's not in season yet, but that's not, you know, the only thing you should be thinking about. It's just that you get bonuses and bonuses are pretty nice. This one, the same thing. It's gonna be super in season in uh, next round once we cross this threshold. So he will decide he wants black, yellow, pink, and red. Wow, black, so many. Oh, this is amazing. So let's see what he's gonna do. He's gonna snatch up. He wants pink, pink, yes. He could get a black, but then it goes back to pink again. <gasps> red, pink, yes, here he goes. He's gonna do red, pink, black, pink. Perfect. 
And that does make us go into tax season, which means I get charged. He got a great combination. He got the red, he got the two yellows, and he got a black. I mean, come on, he's looking real slick here with these uh, with these damask. He's, he's filling them out uh, quite nicely. He goes one, two, three, four. All right. Will he steal from me? No, he doesn't need this uh, light blue. That would have been really nice if he'd stolen from me, but he didn't. Um, he can use these to refresh, to do... He doesn't need to use these. He's, he's good. He's done with this turn. No optional. Um, he's not mounting anything because he can't. He's one red shy from mounting that other one. So he's done, but we do have tax season. So tax season. Everyone is charged a um, dollar for having one color. So if I had yellow, pink, and blue, I'd be one dollar, one dollar, one dollar, one dollar, four dollars in debt if I had more. And you can have as many cubes of a kind, much like when you steal, you can take all the cubes from one color and you just get one favor token. So here I can either pay a dollar or I can pay two favor tokens, right? I've been talking about this, but here it is. Don't pay tax for one color of a cube if you pay two. That's a really big loss. Having favor tokens allows you to finish more damasks, but a dollar is a dollar, and, and every game I've played has come down to the dollar, and it's a tough choice. I think I'm going to pay the dollar mostly because I know I've got more mounts than, I, than Lewis does. He's got a lot in the works, but I'm hoping that I can still keep ahead and plan for dark blue and that shield. I pay. I get to keep it. I don't lose it. I pay because I have too much fabric and too many beautiful silks. And everyone is just kind of like, hey, stop hoarding the light blue. Okay, that's the end of this tax season. Um, it's going to stay right there, and that's going to essentially trigger after one full revolution again. But we do refill. I'm going to refill these cubies and find out what uh, color combinations we've got coming up. Oh, more blue, blue, blue. Well, you know I'm going to want, oh, you know I want that so bad. Oh, my gosh, and it's... It's, it's my turn next. Oh, psh, come on. You know I'm going to take that. You know I'm going to take that. Okay, so it's just, what? I don't think I shook the bag enough, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to flip over the season tiles uh, for season one because season one is done, and I like uh, just keeping track of how we're doing and how we're progressing in the game. And then when I see those, then I don't get distracted anymore. I don't think that that's an option. Because now the favor uh, damasks uh, in season are the kind of open mouth kind of uh, diamondy, Because <laughs> that's the official name of it. Um, and the red is in season, which Lewis has in spades. He is going to bank in season two. I can just see it. Okay, back to me. I really want to do this because it's going to make me feel satisfied. <laughs> I'm going to take a damask, and again, it's out of order with my damask choices, but I think I just need to do it because there's just so many great cube opportunities. I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to play it in front of me, and I'm going to replace it because, golly gee, that is just uh, such a good, such a good one. Okay, so we have some red options. And red is definitely for uh, sure in great season right now. So is the open mouth kind of moss symbol. Do I want to steal? He doesn't have anything to steal. Do I want to mount? I don't. But I'm going to put these out here just to remind me I've got some, some cool um, benefits, some cool bonuses that I can use. Okay, back to Lewis. He is going to... Does he want to take? He might want to take... He sees, oh boy, he's going to be a little stinker because I think he wants to take this, but that's because I want to take that too. But I think he might want to take this one because it really just goes along with everything he's doing. Um, let's see here. The red, the yellow, the black, the blue, the red. You know what? Maybe not. Okay, so I'm going to tell you one thing. Thinking just a little bit toward the end of the game. Because we've done a round, we've done a whole season, I think you've got a really good idea of what's going on here. You need to be thinking about the bonuses. So end of game bonuses are right here. 
If you have all four patterns mounted, see this right here? You get a bonus $3. Now, <laughs> that's something I need to be working on because look at me. <laughs> Yay, I've just been getting the same pattern. Now, there are four patterns in the game, right? Look at this. You've got the shield, the open mouth diamond, the hourglass, and the really cutesy, cutesy shield. <laughs> the, the, the nice one. Now, if you can get all four patterns mounted, meaning that you finish them, you get three bonus dollars. That's huge. Three dollars goes a long way in this game. And then the last bonus you get is if you have all six colors mounted, you get three dollars. Well, the reason I'm looking at this card for Lewis is because he thinks it's good for his pattern. He's kind of doing the same thing I'm doing. I wonder if Lewis and Kim are not the same person in this <laughs> tutorial. Um, but he's looking at maybe getting a different pattern, but he also needs a different color. He's got dark blue, pink, red, black, and yellow. This would give him a new pattern and it would give him a new color. And that would be his sixth color if he could mount all, all three of those by the end of the game. So I think he's gonna do that. I think he's going to take a Damask for his turn because he's thinking ahead to the end of the game and the bonuses that come with getting the six uh, colors and possibly the four pattern types. So that's his turn. He is going to steal from me because guess what? I have that light blue. Um, oh no, I don't. I put it there. Backtrack. I bet, I bet we've already seen that in my oopsies <laughs> because I should have, when I bought this card, when I took the Damask, I should have placed my light blue cube here from my overstock. Therefore, Lewis would not have the opportunity to steal from me. So um, that's something you should remember to do when you get those. Just place those overstock cubes right there. Uh, once you do place them in, in a Damask, though, they can't go to other Damasks or back into your overstock. But right now, it's just a good, good option for me to do that. There's no reason why I wouldn't do that. Otherwise, Lewis is going to steal, and he's probably going to uh, be able to work on his Damasks. So... Um, you can see that this game is uh, fast, it is dynamic, and you have to really think ahead um, several, several stages. There's a lot to kind of keep in mind. Um, the shorter version game of this, which is the two season Damask, just means that you stop after two seasons, which means you only have those two uh, color and uh, designs in fashion. And that's it. And then the other thing to keep in mind if you do the shorter version is that each of those bonuses are only um, valued at $2 each instead of three. So you still get the bonus for the four and the six, um, but it's only $2. Once that third tax season is triggered, people will pay taxes and that is it. The game is over and you'll be able to count up all of your money and trade in those three favor tokens for $1 to see who the winner is. So again, I think you've got a great idea of how Damask works and what makes it just really exciting um, as an abstract game. So that's it for Damask, everybody. If you'd like to hear my final thoughts about it, you can hit that I in the top right corner or follow the link in the show notes below in five, four, three, two, one.